since I did any video on my YouTube channel. Oops, hold on. Big desk. Anyways, I know it's been a minute since I did any video on my uh, YouTube channel. In fact, guess what? I have a new camera. <laughs> That's the reason why you can see my face all beautiful and I'm not sitting there going like, ah. Anyways, so, um, but yeah, I was just on the, I was just, uh, talking to some people on Discord and cartoons from like the nineties came up, you know, some of those cartoons like Ren and, Ren and Stippy and Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. We had no business watching those, sh those cartoons back when we were younger, but it, to me, it brought up another conversation that I always wanted to have, and that is how cartoons, and mostly, like, most of kids' programming has kind of gone down in quality, at least to me. Because, uh, you know, we got, all of a sudden we got, Young Justice was, like, replaced with uh, shows like Teen Titans Go, or Ben 10, the original Ben 10, uh, going into like Ben 10 Alien Force and Ultimate Alien, it got reduced down to like what we got in Ben 10 Omniverse and uh, the reboot Ben 10. And even Justice League got the same treatment. And I feel like that's kind of a big issue that I have with like a lot of cartoons, American made cartoons per se, uh, going forward is that. They don't have those mature, they don't have like somewhat mature themes. You know, kind of like how the original Teen Titans, uh, Young Justice, which I feel like was like a, a spiritual successor to the original Teen Titans uh, cartoon. Um, the original, like I said, the original Ben 10, Ultimate Alien, up to Ultimate Alien, I'm sorry. And the original Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. They had mature themes. But it was something that kids could actually get into. Something kids could really uh, focus on. They liked the story. They liked the, the cartoon. But they liked the story even more. And at least that's how I felt when I was a kid. Like, I, you know, as a young kid, I didn't get really into, like, Ren and Stippy. I, I just watched it because it was there. And I thought some of the things were a little bit funny. Um, uh, Beavis and Butthead, I knew I shouldn't be watching it, but I watched it anyways when I was a little kid. Uh, but, uh, you know, shows like the original Ben 10, shows like Justice League, shows like Teen Titans, they actually gave me, uh, you know, I could watch those and feel like I, I, I watched something of substance, you know? And I feel like kids can... A lot of kids could actually pull that off, can actually get into that. Um, and it's just ridiculous how they kind of dumb down these shows for, you know, for kids, basically. Anywho, I don't know. It's, it, it, it's a weird situation. I mean, yeah, kids are eating it up like it's nothing, but where the, like, slightly you know that middle school to teenage like cartoon shows where, where are those at nowadays i feel like we we, we kind of just drop those and um went straight for the mindless stuff you know you know maybe somebody should come out with something like that but i feel like we as America kind of don't want to do that, but yet we have no problem like sitting there and like having our kids watch a whole bunch of YouTube or, or the kids are going to look at YouTube and not realize that they're absorbing some things that they haven't done. Like there's that one, uh, there's the one streamer, uh, that everybody would talk about. He's kind of going out sneaker, right? Nick all of a sudden decided he was going to go. He he was kind of distancing himself from the red pill mentality and all that stuff. And I remember there was this video going around where he's out in a public space. There's some kids who are maybe like 10, 
11, 12, 9 or something like that. He runs into them. He's like showing, he's like trying to like get them on his stream. And they immediately start talking to, well, they just start saying some like red pill mentality type things. You know what I mean? And he's like, no, 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 no. We love women. We love women. Women not like what the kid said. And the kid was basically referencing everything that Sneeko said. Now, how could they do that if they weren't online looking at YouTube and all that stuff? They take in more than you know. And those shows back in the day, you know, like Batman, the animated series, the original, uh, the anim- the Adventures of Superman, Justice League, Teen Titans, Ben 10, Ben 10, uh, Alien Force, Ultimate Alien, all those had... Uh, uh, a certain way of like uh, you know telling a story while it being entertaining for kids but also having like having that ability to like <sighs> having that ability to like give the kids like the that feeling you know that 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 intelligence they they knew that these kids had that kids had intelligence in order to like understand uh, more thoughtful themes and all that stuff that you know you could take and you could apply to the future and all that stuff. Um, like we got X Men ninety seven, which is a which is the <laughs> continuation of the original X Men animated series that they had on Fox kids and i mean the first two episodes i thought they were great most people are sitting here talking about how x-men 97 is woke and all that stuff but the original x-men animated series was was woke and before woke was even a thing uh it it had those mature themes it had those uh mature situations people you know the Dot Morph died a couple of times. Uh, some characters did get hurt, did get damaged, but they also had that whole like idea of, hey, look, these characters can get hurt, but they can also uh, rise up and become better and have a little bit, um, you know, that whole little thing of what does a kill you make you stronger? They had that whole little mentality in their, um, in their stories. And something that kids don't get as much anymore in these cartoons that we have these days, where they try to dumb down the violence or they try to dumb down the, the mature, mature things that they want to post. Like, you know, people fall in love and all that jazz, uh, yeah, I think we lost something while we were trying to dumb down things because we were too we we're too worried about how we're going to shield our kids. And I mean, shoot, I, I I lived through the early days of the cart of cartoons where they were mature, they had mature things, and all granted, I'm not a complete. I'm not like the best example of it. I'm also not like some degenerate who who doesn't like really think about his actions and all that stuff. Um, more, um, I can look back at those old cartoons that you know adults nowadays have deemed a little bit too mature for kids. I can look back at those and realize I learned a lot of good lessons from those particular shows because they had the they had the mindset that I'm not some I'm I'm not just some dumb little child who can who can't think can't really think outside the box or can't really think in a mature type of way they had the the forethought to like hey treat a kid like they have some kind of intelligence and yes well right now the way the world is right now where there's a lot of people trying to push these huge 
huge topics onto these little kids. There's a way to do it without like being so aggressive. And it comes into the point of like, you know, giving these mature, these slightly mature, I wouldn't say full mature. I'm not saying like adult type things. I'm talking about like that middle school teenage mindset, something that I think most of us adults have lost over the years, over 20 years at this point, when they look at their kids and they're like, oh yeah, I don't want you looking at all the things I used to look at as a kid because, I mean, don't get me wrong, like I said, Ren and Stimpy and Beavis and Butthead are not the perfect examples of like shows that you should have, that kids should have ever watched, I mean, just saying, but shows like the original Justice League, shows like the original Teen Titans and Ben 10, the original Ben 10, the original Generator X, all the, even though I wasn't that huge of a fan of Generator X, let's just be honest, but those those shows, the the original X-Men, what we got now was X-Men 97, I could, you can watch that, kids can watch that and not have that big of an issue, I'm saying, we, when it comes to these cartoons, when it comes to these kids shows, or and I would like, I'd rather say not kids shows, but I want to say like middle school and teenage show, teenager shows. Um, we gotta have a little bit more uh, respect to the kids. They have a lot more intelligence than you think. I mean, and if we can give them that, like that kind of storyline that we used to have, like I'm 37 now. Back in the 90s, the storylines, back in the 90s and early 2000s, the storylines they had in these cartoons and all that stuff, and some of these shows, they had a intelligence about them that respected the kids' intelligence. Um, if you sat there and watched it, you would get some kind of, you wouldn't realize it, but you would get some kind of... Um, a lesson that you were that you could learn from that particular story so eh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say like I I, I, I didn't write some little I didn't write a, a script for this I just feel like you know it's time to like start treating kids a little bit more with a little bit more intelligence but I mean don't get me wrong there are certain things that shouldn't be said but and I'm not trying to push for anything else. I'm just trying to push for, like, give kids some more, give them a little bit more, like, respect. They have a lot more intelligence than you think. And the more you try to sh shield them with these mindless stories, like Teen Titans Go, they're only 15 minutes and all that stuff. I mean, this is another reason why I hate shorts. When you try to do things with, like, short, short videos and all that stuff or short things you're not really giving the kids the ability to learn some new lessons that they could learn um, one thing about X-Men the original X-Men animated show and X-Men 97 was and heck the original comic books in general was a way for people to understand <laughs> to to uh, be more uh, accepting of others, others that may not be exactly the same as you. You know, I mean, X Men was a uh, from all the things I always remembered reading and hearing about when it comes to like Stan Lee and his creation of X Men. X Men was basically like a, a way of teaching a lesson about accepting people of other races. It was the equivalent to it was an answer to that so I'm just saying comic books cartoons heck even a little bit of TV shows they could do they could it could do well to give them a little uh, to when they're making these stories to give just a little bit respect to the kids who actually have intelligence because I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now a little eight-year-old like an eight-year-old kid and up 
they're smarter than you think. And if you give them that, like, if you give them that, like, uh, that little bit of respect, they can learn so much and become better than we are today, you know? So, that's it for me in this video. I need to change the logo. <laughs> I just got a new profile picture, uh, but I will I will change the logo later. All right, but see you guys later. Peace out.